Arthrex presents the Dynanite Nitinol Compression Plates, providing continuous compression across an arthrodesis site. As typical during fusion procedures, it is important to adequately prepare the joint. Initially plane the joint surface to create a flat surface for the Dynanite compression plate. Next, the new and improved Arthrex Mini Joint Distractor can be used to access the joint and remove any remaining articular cartilage. Once the articular cartilage has been removed, Arthrex recommends adding Allosync Pure to enhance the fusion potential. Allosync Pure is a demineralized bone matrix derived from 100% demineralized cortical bone with no extrinsic carriers. Prior to implantation, Allosync Pure may be hydrated with biologic fluids such as bone marrow concentrate. Following application, the joint distractor is used to compress the joint prior to screw and plate fixation. Next, use the Dynanite Plate Trial Sizer to determine the appropriate length plate to implant. Once reduced, provisionally fixate the plate using BB tacks. Next, insert a 1.1 mm guide wire for a 3.5 mm compression FT screw across the joint. Measure, drill, and implant the compression FT screw prior to plate fixation. In order to create the strongest construct possible, and maximize the dynamic compressive properties of the Dynanite Continuous Compression Plate, Arthrex recommends initially placing a compression FT screw for all procedures when utilizing a Dynanite Compression Plate. The compression screw creates strong time zero compression and also significantly increases the overall strength of the construct. Following screw insertion, prepare to place the new crew lock variable angle locking compression screws by drilling and subsequently tapping with the crew lock profile drill. When used for this application, the crew lock locking compression screws will bend the plate down to the bone, similar to a cortical screw, before ultimately locking into the plate, thus offering the benefits of both a cortical and locking screw. The variable angle nature of these screws offers a 30 degree cone of variability. Following insertion of the crew lock screws, the compression box holding the plate at length can be removed on power using a T10 driver in a counterclockwise fashion. As the compression box is removed, the Dynanite compression plate is allowed to shorten, creating continuous compression across the arthrodesis site. During the fusion process, the Dynanite continuous compression plate will continue to attempt to shorten to its originally manufactured state, thus creating dynamic compression and enhancing the potential for fusion. Arthrex presents the Dynanite Continuous Compression Plates, compression so easy it's automatic.